In this video, we will work out the chemical reactions to prepare copper 2 sulfate salt. When we prepare any salt, the first thing we need to consider is whether it is soluble in water. The salt we are focusing on in this video is copper 2 sulfate. For sulfates, we know all are soluble except calcium sulfate, lead 2 sulfate and barium sulfate. Hence, copper 2 sulfate is a soluble salt in water. There are three ways to form a salt that is soluble in water. The reaction of acid with three different substances metal carbonate or base. The acid reacts with reactive metals to form soluble salt and hydrogen gas. Acid reacts with carbonates to form soluble salt, carbon dioxide gas and water. Acid reacts with base to form soluble salt and water. Now let's check each of the possibilities out. Acid reacts with reactive metals. Now the key word here is reactive. Do note, different metals react with acids at different rates. Some metals are very reactive and reaction with metals is very vigorous and fast, while some metals are not so reactive or even unreactive. Speaking of which, these few metals that do not react with dilute sulfuric acid in the school chemistry lab are lead, copper, silver and gold. Hence, to form copper 2 sulfate salt in the lab, we can't use this method because copper metal is unreactive with dilute sulfuric acid. Now what about the next reaction? Can we make use of the reaction of acid and carbonate to make copper 2 sulfate? Yes, we can. For acid, we will choose sulfuric acid because this is the acid that will provide the sulfates. And the carbonate that we use needs to contain the copper 2 ion. Hence, we will use copper 2 carbonate. Now, when copper 2 carbonate reacts with sulfuric acid, copper 2 sulfate is formed together with water and carbon dioxide gas. We can't observe the production of water, but we will observe effervescence in this reaction due to production of carbon dioxide gas. What about reaction with oxide? Can we make use of the reaction of acid and oxide to make copper 2 sulfate? Yes, we can. Similarly, to provide the sulfate, we will choose sulfuric acid, and for the oxide, we need to choose an oxide that contains copper 2 ion. Hence, we will use copper 2 oxide. Now, when copper 2 oxide reacts with sulfuric acid, copper 2 sulfate is formed together with water. In this reaction, no gas will form, hence we will not observe any effervescence. Hence, in order to ensure that the reaction has completed, we will add insoluble copper 2 oxide in excess into sulfuric acid. Those that are in excess do not take part in the reaction with sulfuric acid. Hence, we can actually get rid of this unreacted copper 2 oxide by filtering them away at the end of the reaction. Now, as mentioned, copper 2 sulfate salt is actually a soluble salt. So this copper 2 sulfate is still dissolved in the water. The next thing that we are interested in is how do we obtain the solid salt from this solution? Now we will achieve that by crystallization. Now check out the next video to find out more. Now if you find this video useful, do remember to share the videos with your friends and like the video. If you'd like to have more chemistry learning videos, remember to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to have more chemistry learning resources, do check out my website. The link is in the description. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.